Is there a reason? Sir, he's out there. Wait, isn't this like the place they used in Snydergat? They refused the same, but nah, it's not, it's not. My problem, it's not. Maybe with the peanut butter and yes. the PR bananas raisins ate honey cheese on a roll. I don't need blood for this fast metabolism. <laughs> you running a marathon? Oh my god! Yeah! Hi. I love you! Thank you. You seem very nice, also. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not a big fan of his suit. It's just too bulky. Sorry if this sounds weird, but are you actively eating that candy bar? Maybe you could throw it to me. In the name of justice. I need you now, Barry. Hi, Bruce. Yes, I'm coming. You didn't even take it seriously. Okay, uh, the learning is a little bit goofy. Honestly, this is. Uh, uh, Macarius' learning was better, but it's okay. Yeah, for him, this is taking like, you know, few seconds. Gotham, you know, just Gotham citizens are just used to seeing this kind of, you know, chain and seeing this all the Batman, you know, they're kind of used to it. Seems I'm out of the Gotham General. Stole a highly deadly virus. I intercepted them as they blasted their way out. You can handle the hospital, Barry. Somebody has to save the rest of the world, so I was going to do that, if you don't mind. Sounds about right, Bruce. Something feels off about his voice, too. Yeah, I know I'm being a little bit picky, but come on, just noticeable. Thanks for saving me from the sinkhole, Far. Sorry, gas and water pipes ruptured. Oh, cool, that is very cool. Yeah, you should be used to seeing this. I don't want to live in Gotham, but you just visit and sing this. Oh, yeah, all day long. Yeah, I was about to ask about the police, to be honest. If my calculations are correct, and history will prove they usually are, the foundational damage is about to cause the collapse of the city's wing. This wing's fine. This is good, we just need to speed his rising. Okay, that was. Uh, I understand why you know he needs to have something to eat. And in the show, the you know Kellen always made something that we make sure that Barry's metabolism doesn't always you know do this. I wonder why you know Batman is not made something like that.
Yeah, welcome. Ah, he was about to cook with another baby. Help screaming. I understand that these events can be psychologically scarring. You should seek the services of a mental health professional. The Justice League is not very good at that part yet. Trust me. She didn't know about the Justice League. She, she shouldn't be you know, screaming like this is the first time she has seen Flash. She's always making this kind of appearance in all the movies so far. But who doesn't love Gogo that is Wonder Woman? I like it. You know, Batman saying a high was smelling, it just feels off. Something feels off about this, you know. Oh, I think it's because of the last of the truth. Okay, the I it, it fell off. I don't like Batman's suit. I don't like his new suit. Just being honest. Also, the cape is very noticeable that it is CGI. Do you have any, any explanation for that? He went and he saved the world and he was still preparing. Yeah, I wonder how many people you save a day. I've seen this guy's YouTube channel a long time, so I just love that you know he's making appearance in big movies such as this one, even though it's a box office failure. Eight year old Iron Man, the one who lost eight year old Bruce, because his grandmother died. I may need a personal day. What was it this time, Barry? Um, something else, but it was, it was far less outlandish. And I know I'm a comedian, but I still really like to, to take my beats to the child. It's been a long time, huh? Yeah. I feel like she finds that. But a few years ago, Barry. No, because... Yes, you saw each other. Huh? Yeah, I think she was referencing to, you know, Music Smithers, just a league where they actually meet, but... I the interview is kind of a mess with everything that is going on. Sorry, how, how do you know about that? I'm covering it for the paper. Oh. How are you holding up? Um, are you, are you asking for the paper? No, I'm asking as a friend. Oh. Although I'm sure the public would want to know as well. Why not take your phone then tell 911? Why run outside? It also happened in, uh, during the day, something different from the show. So, uh,
you know if the director said some parts were meant to be weird and he was actually talking about this thing i would agree Oh yeah, that reminds me of though. That's weird. This is never good to just pop up your head. This will never look good. So when he's not wearing his suit, his lightning, you know, it's blue, so his suit makes his lightning yellow. Okay, that's a good touch, you know, it's like, you know, not trying to change a thing without any explanation. I think that's a nice touch. So they're talking to a face who doesn't know, know anything about this. Wait, that you know, the uh, Aquaman pointing out. Everyone, this makes me wonder which one is exactly the Ken one. The Justice League or the Zack Snyder's Justice League? Because some scenes I'm seeing, they are from Zack Snyder's Justice League instead of the Justice League. So, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna work, but differently. Dark flash. Yes, yeah, so I always wanted it since he was like 10 years old. He's been waiting for this moment for his entire life. He put, just put in an underpainted easy head.
is getting struck again. Uh. That's weird. doesn't need his paws anymore. Yep. It's so weird. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, so that's how you run. It, it's weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, no. You lost your paws. You're gonna end up naked. I love this scene, I do like this scene. Nah, I'm gonna take that pizza. Now you're naked. The road is in the middle of the road and but naked. Just a fail. <laughs> yes, it's very British and very delayed. It's a grudge. that so it was in this movie yes he's a fling me super strong that was actually much I do like that but you know Yes, but the point is that in Back to the Future, Marty McFly is very famously played by Michael J. Fox. The well, that was no, that's Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon's Maverick with the volleyball and the big. You think that different? You know, you just you know you know that you messed up the timeline. You completely broke the universe. Marty McFly is Eric Dalton. Yes, thankfully he created a world with no motorcycles. Ghostbusters. 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 Ghost
Okay, but in an ontological paradox model, there's not a legal question. It's kind of like a prediction. So it's in the sky. If a person dies. Yeah, I don't understand this kind of timeline. You know, when it comes to fusion, time travel, it's kind of confusing. And this one is not different from Endgame's explanation. Uh, some nice touch from you know the Dark Knight trilogy, the waterfall and all that. Don't you at least tell me why you're being so mean to me for no reason? You used Loki as a dark lord. Wait, what? He's mad about that. He's not really. We, we know why he's mad. All the monkey stuff. He gives us monkey stuff all the time. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Vampire! Sir! Don't rush us. Oh yeah, this is all gonna get to Russia. How can you not say that's cool? Because it is cool. This is weird. <laughs> so like, what are you doing? <laughs> you miss your speed, you know. Should have yield by now, honestly. You should have yield by now. If it doesn't work on him or whatever. She's fighting for revenge. She's like, I'm gonna kill them. Wait, this is my friend. Do you know him? That's what he said, you need to end bit. That is the way. I have to go. You rest in your dead state? This looks amazing. Humans afterward, a lot of humans are worth 
Well, that's selfish. At least this, this, this time they're trying to do something that is actually from the Flash movie, Flashpoint animated movie in the comics. You know, the world creating, uh, expanding. Dark Flash main villain of the movie yet we haven't seen anything from him that's what he's uh, bragging about Cool. The fight has begun. The fight now is finally begin. The humans we came to protect, they don't know we're on their side. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, he's huge. Oh yeah, I like it. She was amazing in Men of Steel. Yeah, that was actually funny. Oh, people complaining about our office, you know, trashy throwing lightning. Oh, DCU is also doing the same. Again, do it again. I think she hasn't been on Earth, you know, to just uh, suck up the solar energy enough for it to. You know, she's like getting tired too soon. Did it? Well, I did not see that one coming. So he was pretending. He was like, hi. Uh, 
a game that I'm gonna kill you again and they're gonna keep on going back in time and trying to do something different but it ain't gonna work if we're gonna die and of obvious Kryptonian Batman yeah it doesn't I sure did it. Oh. I'm like, oh, I like this. Like now I know how to kill them. So let's do it again. But at this time they might meet Dark Flash. Can you please just take a minute? Sorry, dude. Yeah, but bro, of, of course. <laughs> That's the whole thing. We can take as much time as it takes. <laughs> just say it. You said it. Right here. Just give me one more time. Barry! No! Oh. Dark Flash has arrived. You know why he did not arrive the earlier or see him in this, you know, in the movie. But I'm assuming it's just another berry. Mod this. I am you, you know, the young bear. I was the young bear, I guess. You are the first Batman. Oh yeah, I've almost forgot about you know, uh, the cameos. Oh. Yeah. Jay Garrick, but not the one what it was gonna be. Make a cameo, but they all do this. Seriously. It doesn't make any sense. We're just throwing this out like it ever happens. You have to stop. Hey, stop with that fish thing! We all know what that this means, right? This is to exist. You're big, yes, you're big. Finally, it's big, right? The director was here to put himself in there. I think it's him. Right here, you can see. 
clearly see my client, Mr. Allen, reaching for a can of tomatoes on the top shelf. He's been in, in like prison for over a decade. I did not understand it in. in. I wish it was the original. Who the fuck is this? Hey, Dad. No, what? Where? You're. You, no, you can't. You. You're not Batman. What's wrong? I don't know, I don't have ways to say what I feel about this movie, to be honest. This is obviously my first time watching it. So I have a lot of feelings, a lot of questions. Just and also why? A lot of like why. Now, the thing is that this movie is not bad at all. If you think I'm saying it, this movie is bad, I was gonna say something like that. No, this movie is not bad at all. It's actually, you know, good movie. It's an average movie. It's not great. I hate some people. Especially when they're marketing, when they're marketing this movie, saying this is a movie, it's the best superhero movie ever. Even James Gunn said that the best, one of the best superhero movies ever. For me, no, no, it's not. I don't even think it qualifies in my top 10. It's a good movie, don't get me wrong. But so there are sort of a lot of problems in the, this movie, and a lot of good things also in this movie. That's why it is in average, and that's why I'm asking myself. Why did they like overdo it when it came to promotion of this movie? It feels like they know that this movie was gonna be a flop, so they tried their best to make sure that they do the marketing like that. And you know, everybody is gonna go and watch it because a lot of popular people said they love this movie. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of popular people said this movie was amazing. I don't see, it. I don't see it. This is not one of the best movies ever at all, seriously. It's a great movie, better than Black Adam, better than Shazam, better than Endman by far, but it's not close to Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It's not close. But there are a lot of things that I, I just I'm just questioning why. I think that this movie it can I we can't help but you know compare compare it to Flashpoint, the animated movie. You know, can't help but compare it to that. And that animated movie is one of the best animated DC projects ever. That is one of the best. So when you see that, and then you see this one, which is sort of follows the first point but loosely, you wonder why they do that, you know. Because this movie, first of all, let's, let's get into the you know the good parts. Then we talk about the issues, then you know how they could have went the other way around. You know? So the good parts, you know. First of all, I think you know besides the problems that this actor is with the people, you know, just. We know about this, you know, we just know about it. But I think he did a great job on portraying, you know, his bit. Obviously, I like Green Castle more, I think he just did it much better. But it is not bad in this movie, you know, it is not bad. So, yeah, that's that's an up. And also, Ben Affleck's Batman, amazing. Uh, Michael Keaton, amazing as always. And surprisingly, I actually did like Kara more than I actually thought, you know, I actually did like to see in the screen and everything. That she wasn't okay. I wish she continues in the DCU, you know. I wish that she does continue. So I'm, I'm awful, but the new Superman, a super girl, is this super girl Superman? I think it's super girl, the woman of tomorrow, yes, the new movie. I think they're gonna recast, but damn, she was really amazing, super girl. I really wish she would should continue the new DCU, but it seems like that's not gonna happen. Then, uh, and the, the great thing too is, you know. The emotional but some of them not all of them but some of them especially at the end especially you know how there's an amelia portrayed 
character and the character and emotions he just he did an amazing job i have to say that no he did an amazing job and yeah that's one of them my what else what else no no not really much you know this is really much good things but this is one of the things then let's get into the issues i feel like i have a lot but i might say the video now the first issue for me is the beginning of the movie especially with ben affleck's Batman. too much of cgi on this character remember when you used yes you may not like the you know the dceu movies like the men of steel bvs and all that but there was less cgi well not less but cgi was better that's what i'm trying to say it was better the fighting scenes were much better even just it was a lot better when it comes to fighting scenes and cgi a lot better but this one especially benefit because sometimes this head is just floating you know, when you especially when i was riding like i remember seeing the behind of the scenes footages when they were shooting that scene you know in the quarter and all that and it looked i was really like i'm looking forward to see this and when i actually see it, it seems like some parts were actually cut some things were just amazing they have gone a little bit long and Impressive, you know. So yeah, I me mean, the CGI wasn't perfect. The fighting sometimes just feel like it was just painful. You know, fighting scenes were just not like they didn't know the heat. That's what I'm trying to say. They did not heat as much as I wanted them to. So yeah, that's one of my major issues. And seeing how Ben Affleck's Batman used to fight in previous movies, and I actually enjoyed it. And then how they did it, and I was I did issues with that. Then the other issue is <coughs> is the flash himself you know? especially the suit that's another issue the suit is not i don't like it. sometimes it actually looks well especially like in the final sometimes it actually looks way well but in the beginning especially when those girls said flash and calling him out he just looks bulky it looks big and bulky you guys remember when the the actual suit you, you usually miss made you know they're actually real this time these days it seems like all the suits that we see in the movies are all fake and this one is another fake one you know it's all cgi and sometimes especially at the end you know the final but when they were in the like knobble whatever that speed force kind of thing they did it actually looked pretty decent but sometimes it just looks out the end i don't like it the helmet is also big issue it's like the biggest issue just too bulky than this one. just way too it doesn't fit like it's just too much then as for you know the running too is an issue i don't like the running ah it just doesn't feel natural you know remember uh, like the flash series yes it did a lot of issues but the running was never one of those issues so, you know it's just it wasn't not the issues then also i think mcu did better way better super speedy scenes you know remember my car was you know it, that's kind of super speed i wanted to see from the flash but you know in a different way and the thing they tried to do it in this one too but it just it felt like it was running in a straight road you know just too much so, and also you know the whole running thing that is if he steps here then he's gonna step like uh 500 feet away or whatever and it just feels unnatural and also you know the slow motion scenes were okay at best you know they were okay at best you know i still enjoy the them but they were okay best you can compare those scenes with the quick silver scenes the, the quick silver scenes especially in the beginning of, they were actually good good they were actually great they were that best actually so yeah i'm also disappointed on that part then let's, let's go to the like the villain this is the big part you know the villain wasn't here. Uh, this movie does not have a villain. That's it. This is this is the truth. This movie does not have a real villain. And this is one of the whys. Why? Why not just stay to the comic book, you know? I know that people will complain about the making the, the like uh Snedavis movies and the uh, suicide movies, you know, not staying true to the comic books and a lot of movies, a lot of comic book movies, the director always does something different. But the problem is that how, how different is the director willing to go? You know, how different are they going to go? And 
majority of the people do not like Zack Snyder because of that but the thing about Zack Snyder is that it's not exact it's not like too different it's actually a different comic if you read if you are like oh spam is too dark so there are a lot of too dark spam means we are comics on there so there is something you know there's something that is actually related with their comics that you know you can know okay yes this is from a different comics that is taking inspiration from but i did not like it then just for this movie they have two two a comic book and a, an animated movie and i would have preferred if they stayed in any of those ones comic book or animated especially the animated movie but they know they're like now nah, i'm gonna do something else i'm gonna do something that makes me people recognize that this is my work it's not like a copy and paste yes we don't want it to be a copy and paste but it does not have to be so different because we know what you want we know the flash point and we've been wanting that kind of movie in long term then this is the kind of movie you give us I'm sorry but I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in that in the fact that I really wanted to see Rupert's Flash you know and you know the kind of saying Rupert's Flash was when I'm not going to be in this movie but which made me a little bit like so who's gonna be the villain? who is gonna be the villain? then you know when the action figures came in then we saw Dark Flash and I was like okay I mean okay I mean they wanted to do something different as long as it's kind of stick to the Admitted movie, but you know, making that clash the villain, I'm okay with it at best. You know, I'm okay with it. And they decided to do the opposite, and you know, just make make sure that that clash only appears at the end of the movie. And, uh, I have so many issues with this movie, and I'm sorry, guys. If you like this movie, that's your own opinion. But my own opinion is that this, they could have done better. They could have stick to the mean trio and actually done a better job but they didn't they chose to do it differently and the whole cranable thing actually thought it was actually pretty cool but yeah it's okay it's, it was actually pretty cool and then also the director did say you know the cgi was on paper so i doubt that you know the majority of the scenes were just bad cgi you know just bad i don't know why this movie costed about around 200 230 CGI's like this. Where did the man go? Where did the man go? Seriously. And I did this here uh, someone on the like TikTok, one of the right one of the VFX artists said that the actual reason why this movie is usually like this or majority of movies spiral movies are usually end up with bad CGI is usually because of you know how they usually rush this vfx team therefore the vfx team they're gonna do whatever they can get the time yet. they've been given the, the limited time so yes i understand that part so i it's not their problem it's just they could have given this them a little bit more time to work on this movie and give us a good movie based cgi but then again even if the great cgi I still think the story would have been much better and uh, you know the whole appearance the the whole cameo thing to over the end you know why not bring in green casting? Why not? There's so much stories out there being told by other YouTubers about writers how they could have wrote in this movie. That's way much better. That's something that you can just you can just read or listen to what they say and say, damn, I wish that was the case. I can only imagine. See, this is the reason why Marvel fans always enjoy. Well, majority of the things that they wish to happen, they always end up happening. This wish, you know. Well, the, that three spider means if I, even if you hit one of them or whatever they all came into one movie and all the fans were reunited and that movie made over one when something billion dollars almost getting to two billion you know why because of that they know what the fans want and they give it to them that's it this one this dc especially is for me especially this movie this one has been like following the, we know that this movie has been like in production for over a decade so i've been like following and trying to see what they came out with and knowing that they actually change a lot and the, a lot of things that people were speculating that could happen in the movie and i was like oh this movie is gonna be one of the best thing i ever seen in the flashpoint if they do it like in the animated movie where like they did in the animated movie then you know sort of put something else like Obviously, we do know that Ezra Miller did appear in the TV show, so whatever you just did, 
TV show Gringas in Happy in the movie, but also giving some kind of points to Ezra Wills to a younger flash that could that could have helped the movie, you know. And all the CW fans, especially for the show, even if you haven't watched the show up to the ninth season, which was like very terrible, yeah, I know, but it ended. We know that this show did have a lot of fans from season one to wrap up to season four, I guess. Just move people could have come to the it, it, every number, every person counts. Could have made a little bit more money because of that. And yeah, and this is how I see the story. They could have been just going to the city. They could have just instead of going the way they did, you know, they could have been but instead of like changing a lot of things they did, you know, they could have kept some of the, the original things like uh having no, 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 Spaghetti is fine, no, Spaghetti is fine, I wouldn't mind, but one of the things that I always wanted is to keep, you know, the fight from, like, the fight in the animated movie to see that Aquaman and Disney, you know, Atlanteans and Amazons do have a fight. This is something that I was, I wanted, uh, the potential to do this. If there was any, any plans to cancel the ongoing DCU or what was ongoing DCU. It won't have been a problem on implying or doing that kind of movie because we all know that you know it's kind of universe that this is still going on. So if you have a flashpoint movie, then we have like we have all like Aquaman, we still have them, we have Swam, we all still have all these characters. But they could have still like use Spaghetti instead. Then the villain they couldn't they shouldn't have used sword. I love sword, but for me of men of still and this movie it just it does not feel like it belongs there, you know, it's just there for the other people's but does not does not feel like it's not implying it just not you know when a villain is from start it starts from the beginning and is usually the one who's causing a lot of trouble you kind of feel the story impact you need but this one this villain just felt like we have seen that before we have seen that before and the little twist that you know this time so it actually wins all the time so yeah it is just it's not that what I wanted. You know, the villain is not this is the villain in this crash movie. And that's one of the things I don't like about this movie. But overall, the two things is it's a decent movie. You can compare it to some like Shazam Shazam is not a bad movie, just predictable. This movie is not predictable but it's a decent movie, but it's not great. Again when I'm trying to say so yeah, I just I have a lot of issues movie but i still do enjoy some parts of it and i do wish uh, maybe in the future or 10, 10 years from now we do actually get a proper flashpoint movie um, but it's only dream probably not gonna happen ever again yeah flash fans are cast seriously can even the same thing no in fact dcu dc fans are cast because we are just too divided just too divided at this point. It, nothing like this needed, needed to happen. You know, the issues with the, the ECU, none of it needed to happen, but I uh, you know the studio fucked up for everything, and now we're in this kind of situation where things are divided. And then you know, there's hope, like, you know, James Gunn is gonna bring some fans, but obviously it's not gonna bring everyone back. It's just like some who will say, okay, we're gonna give a chance to Super Legacy, but if they see it like as a copycat of Marvel, they're not gonna come back. So I do hope that he does something amazing with Super Legacy because that that movie is the future of DC. If that flops, I don't see DC going forward. But hey, who am I to judge? I don't know the future. But yeah, that movie, people are dreading on that movie. I do hope it succeeds. That we can continue having some DC movies. Yeah, no, that's my thoughts on the first she said. Okay, move it based. Could have been better, but it's an okay, move it based. I like it. I do like it, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But I, it's just, it just seems like a lot of people are just praising this movie way too much. It's not too different, you know. So, yeah, no, I'm just I'm just gonna sort of try to watch across the spider face. Maybe it could just make me feel a little bit. It out the different kind of multi or movie. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much. Make sure that you do leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. What did you think about this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? What did you think about it? With that being said, make sure that you do leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next movie. Goodbye.